guy hit him with one of these. Sup, you beautiful bastards. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. It's your boy Swolax here, back at it again with the video. This time it's been a little bit different, so let's just jump into it. So today we're going to talk about the 2018 Yu-Gi-Oh! Megatons. Now, just about a year ago when I was getting back into this game, when I was starting out this Swolax channel, I bought three, count them, three of the 2017 Megatons. I was super hyped about it. Not only did the tins look gorgeous, but also the promos were pretty good. Hot Desires is still utilized in my decks to this day. But I feel like we need to talk about the 2018 Megatons, because outside of these specific specific promos, which of course I talked about at length, I feel like the reprints and the packs themselves are kind of lackluster this year. Sure, we got cards like Mech Knight Blue Sky and Indigo Eclipse inside the packs. We got some pretty nice reprints like the Dragonic Diagram and Borlo Dragon. Firewall Dragon's also not too bad and Sir Yuja for sure. However, I do just feel overall this is a pretty underwhelming tin. Add that on top of the fact that I'm really just buying these tins for the promos, and Monthly Hero Solid Soldier and Nebula Neos, I think buying two or more of the tins isn't really worth it outside of collector value. In addition, I do need to mention that the Mega Tins are the most open product of the year. There are hundreds, if not thousands of tins opened all the time. If you go on to TCG Player right now and try to order singles from there, guaranteed there are several shops with hundreds of listings of these single cards. I personally picked up two copies of Solid Soldier and one copy of Nebula Neos for like two bucks. They are so cheap and easy to get, it's insane. So why do I think it's underwhelming? Well, I think outside of the fact that we all want Ash Blossom and Joy Spring to be reprinted inside this pack, despite being printed in Shadows of Valhalla as a super rare, I think they kind of missed the mark outside of a few cards. Of course, evenly matched, you're Diagram, Saryuja, Firewall, and Borlo Dragon are all cards I mentioned previously that are really good. They could have had much better cards reprinted inside these sets, in my opinion. And the Megatons are missing key players inside of the meta, like Isla back to Wizzle, Two Tales of the Noble Knights. That could be a haunting message that Konami is going to ban them on the ban list, coming no sooner than August. But still, I think it's kind of disappointing. They hit Dryden and Broadbowl when they were in the Megatons, and I pulled two of those. Even still, compared to last year, where we got Pop Desires and Totally Awesome was inside the tin. Once again, I feel like these tins just kind of underperform in terms of packs. Now, Whereas last year I opened up three, two Kaiba, one Yugi. I think this year, eh, we're just gonna open up this one here. Yeah, I know, it sounded a little bit weird. I said I ordered two Solid Soldier and one Nebula Neos. Well, cause I got this one right here. I don't, well, I don't need to pay for a play set when I'm getting one right now. So without further ado, I believe we have video footage of Swolax opening these tins. Swolax? Thanks, Swolax. Yo, what's up, boys and girls? Back at it again. So we've got another Megaton to open up today. So we're just gonna open up the one Jaden Yuki Megaton. I will say, I really do like the design of this a lot more than the, the Kaiban Yugi ones. Of course, the Kaiban Yugi ones are blue and gold, and the uh, Yusei Fudo and Jaden ones are like this orange and black. I'm really digging it. It looks really solid. Of course, you got the main man, Jaden Yuki himself, and of course, Nebula Neos, which I'm super hyped about opening that. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just, let's go ahead and just open this thing up a little bit. Oh, let's get this thing open. Come on, we can do it. There we go. Kind of making these things real hard to open. Oh yeah, it even looks better with the plastic on. Nice, nice, look at that. Solid, solid, solid. All right, let's pop it open. Woo, getting that new card smell nice and strong. So, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got the Mega, mega Packs and Mega Tin right there. Got the side there. So first things first, you get, get a nice glimpse of Nebula Neos as a promo pack. Let's crack this bad boy open real quick. Beautiful. Oh yeah, it's a nice secret rare. Loving this. Of course you guys know I'm always hyped for new hero support and this wave of support is no different. Apparently we're supposed to get some uh, sometime soon too. We got the Destiny heroes coming out and of course we got the uh, Soul Fusion cards. So let's go ahead and get, try to get them into focus. We got uh, Nebula Neos. That's a solid card right there. This card is absolutely insane. I love the artwork. Oh God, it's so so good to see some new hero support. And of course the main man, Elemental Heroes Solid Soldier. This dude is beautiful. Um, absolutely insane again. Oh, I cannot wait to put them inside the deck. And that Nat Beast Turbo combo is about to be real consistent. Loving that. We got a Keeper of the Dragon Magic, super cool card, love that as well. Mud Dragon of the Swamp is really interesting. Uh, I think someone pointed out that if you use um, uh, with this card with Super Poly, it's kind of broken, but yeah, that's nice. Super nuts too. And we got uh, Arcana Extra Joker, or Arcana Extra Joker maybe. So this card is with the uh, the Jack Knights, the, the Jack Knight, King's Knight, and Queen's Knight support. That's actually really cool, especially because it takes uh, three cards of different names and has kind of the same negation effect as their fusion monster. Um, that's super, that's actually neat. I did not expect this in the tins, but I like it a lot. It's kind of cool. So that's the promos. Let's go ahead and jump into these packs. Sorry about that. I had some technical difficulties with the camera, but without further ado, let's just go ahead and crack open these sick Megaton packs. Oh my gosh, there we go. Ooh, breathing that new card smell, boys and girls. Ah, 
It smells good. It smells like the uh, the end of a sick year. All right. Call of the Archfiend. This card's actually pretty insane in Duel Links. It's pretty all right. Trading Places. The Ascended of Thunder. DD Seeker. Goki Headbat. Insane card in Gokis, as always. Air Cracking Storm. Oh, okay, six. We got a Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse for our super. Ooh, we got the, uh, what's this, an Ingirsu for the World Chalice? Oh, yeah. I was looking for this a while back. A long time ago. That's a sick card. That one's dope. That one's super dope. Very nice, very nice. Put that over there. And then World Legacy uh, Secrets. It's very nice indeed. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to Twilight Eraser, Treasure Panda, Bug Signal, End of the World. Interesting ritual card. Defense Zone. That card has the UA monsters in it. Twilight Cloth and an Amazonas Pet Liger. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We got that in Gearsu right there. And oh, maybe this will be a lot easier if I just open it up from the bottom. Looks like we can't open these quite. Oh, my, my hand just slipping. No. There we go. Nice. I've been told I open packs like an animal, and it's true. Ah, more new card smell. We got Gogogo, -Go -Go, Arestia, and Dexia. I remember that card from a while back from Code of the Duelist. Uh, World Legacy Heart. We got Link Restart. Burning Bamboo Sword. FA Sonic Maista. Duck Dummy. And a, uh, what is this? Le Lila? Lila? The Twilight Sworn Enchantress. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. So sick. Evenly matched. Are you insane? That's that's so dope. That's so dope. That's such a good card. Love it. All right, we got, uh, let's see. Marim May, the True Dark of Phoenix. Uh, another Trickstar card, Narcus. Link Hole. Ooh. Mild Turkey. <laughs> these cards are sick. I love these cards. Saul Dragons. Walking Neck Puppeteer. Sniffer Dragon and a Smile Universe. All right, dope. Cool, cool. All right, well, if you can only pull a, pull a Borlo Dragon or even a second Evenly Masked, I'm also down. I've heard there's some um, weird clumping issues with these cards. Like, whenever you um, open up these packs, they have, like, um, some, like, like it, pack issues. Like, you can open up technically the same pack, same card inside of, like, this, each tens. It's kind of weird. Mapping issues, that's what it's called. Uh, let's see. Capacitor Stalker. Uh, Dark World Brainwashing. Contact C. Ancient, Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound, Nimble Beaver, a Mermail Abyss Nere, it's not bad, a Goki Rematch, hey look at that, it's uh, nice and shiny, we actually have the Starfall Rays, which I'm kind of uh, endeared to at this point, but uh, I guess not bad, not bad, and a Rescue Ferret, okay, alright, not bad, I know it's a card that people have been looking for, so that's alright, Broken Line, World Legacy uh, World Armor, have a few of those already sitting, Got a Sumo Spirit. Got the Mahjong Birds. <laughs> Every time it gets me. Every time. Cyber's Beacon. Magician's Left Hand. Such a pretty good card. And a Beckoned of the World Chalice. So, overall pretty all right. We pulled uh, just a good few cards. Of course, we got that Rescue Ferret chilling in the back there. That Evenly Matched looking nice and slick. Uh, World Legacy Secret. Mech Knight to go Eclipse. The Ingirsu, I think we probably pulled a little more. I think it was the Lila one as well. Also pretty good pulls. And of course, we got the main, the main two. The main two, we got the Elemental Hero Solid Soldier and Elemental Hero Nebula Neos. So do keep in mind when you're buying these packs that, like I said, overall, I think that the reprints are relatively, um, relatively underwhelming. Other than, of course, you got Evenly Matched and Borlo Dragon are the two that I'm pretty, mu pretty much most hyped about. And maybe some of the Mech Knight cards. But in general, I think if you're buying for these promos, you should buy singles. And uh, buying singles at, at all, and just in general, is probably one of the best, best, most cost-efficient ways to get your cards in the long run. Sometimes, unless you're real lucky and you pull all your cards in need. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But without further ado, that's going to be it for the 2018 Mega Tin promo and pack openings. Would you tell me what you guys think in the comments down below, what cards should have been included. Obviously, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. What do you guys think of this new hero support? What do you guys think of the Jaden, the, yeah, that's right, the Jaden Yuki Megaton? What do you guys think of the Yusei Fudo Megaton? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there, make sure to leave it a like if you guys like the video, and please subscribe if you want to see more. Got a lot of my videos coming down the pipeline, so stay tuned for that if you want to, but, uh, ooh, yeah.